Hey guys, Jesse with Hunt and Training. Today we're taking a look at preparing for a pistol class and what I'm taking to my pistol class this weekend, right here on Hunt and Training. Hey guys, Jesse with Hunt Training. Today we are taking a look at what I'm taking to my pistol class this weekend, or handgun workshop this weekend, and uh, what I'm doing. So what I am going to is a handgun workshop with uh, at Knockout Lights, Instagram fame, I'll put it down here, or Mike Lavoy, Leboy, something like that, of Assault Dynamics. Sorry if I murdered your name, I'll also put it down here. But anyway, Mike is, well-renowned throughout the firearms community as an excellent instructor, and I'm really excited not only to improve my handgun skills, obviously, but I am a USCCA certified instructor, and I'm looking forward to watching him instruct and then hopefully taking some of his techniques of instruction and then implementing them into my instruction. So what am I taking with me? Obviously, I'm taking my normal EDC stuff. So I've got my pocket knife, I've got my wallet, and I've got my little flashlight here. And I have my Leatherman tool. Uh, I also have my carry gun until I get to the California border, which then I have to follow California law. Uh, so I am crossing state lines and going into a different state. So that's one thing. Number one is make sure you know if you're going crossing state lines or, or even in your state, know the laws and know how you're supposed to transport firearms according to what I understand. I'm not a lawyer. I can give you law advice according to what I just researched and understand. Now, basically, my pistol just has to be in the trunk, unloaded and locked or in a locked container. And uh, I can only transport it to and from the trunk when I plan to use it. Uh, otherwise, I cannot have it out. And that's from what I understand. Anyway, guys, besides my EDC stuff, uh, uh, a good thing, you know, we're gonna have ammunition. So what I'm taking this weekend is this federal bulk pack stuff, 200 rounds, comes in boxes like this. Got it from Walmart, but I do have it in an ammo can. I have it empty, so I have 600 rounds of that loose, but then I also have 100 rounds of Fioki on top of it. The class required, or, requires 500 rounds i'm taking 700 with me just to have you know a good idea another thing you should always come to with a class there's no taking materials here i have a right new rain pad and pin that way in case the weather's crappy i can still you know write notes you know draw draw drills to take home and practice um it's always a good idea to have note taking materials um my next thing i'm taking is I'm taking my, uh, I call my range bag, or I have this backpack here. So this backpack has a lot of different things in it. I have my Mag Lula to load magazines. I have lubricants. I have tools. I have extra shooting glasses, which are really important. Always a good thing to have extras. I have tools of all sorts. I have hammer, pins, punches, screwdrivers, stuff like that, which to some people will be a little sexy with. I have Ear Pro. I'm taking Impact Sports. Uh, they are electronic. Electronic hearing protection is my preferred because you can actually hear what's going on at the range. And I think these are really important, especially when you're going to a class to have to get the full, you know, the full, um, <laughs> to get the full experience basically of the class. I have these and I also have a backup pair. Uh, beyond that, I just have miscellaneous tools. And you know, this would be kind of excessive, I would say for those who are beginning and coming to a class, have your ears, have your eyes, have a lubricant, and any maybe special tools you need for your specific gun that you are taking to the class. Uh, also recommendations um, for footwear and stuff, like I'm gonna be wearing blue jeans, and uh, I'm gonna have athletic tennis shoes on, so I'm gonna have some Nike tennis shoes on, that's what I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear a t-shirt, baseball cap, uh, just keep to help keep the sun off of me. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're going to a pistol class is make sure you're looking at the weather and be prepared for weather. Uh, I will be taking a rain jacket. I will take my vertex shell, my vertex shell, and I will have it and have it the rain. So for the belt, what I'm taking is I'm taking my blue alpha gear belt that you see here set up. 
We'll talk about the gun in a minute, but for the mag pouches, I've got S-Tech Kiwis or Quickies. These are single double pistol pouches that are on here. I do have, I'm just gonna leave the AR mag there, I, even though we're not using any AR or carbine this weekend. I have a T-Rex Arms dump pouch, you know, with extra, we can hear extra magazines flopping around in there. Really important for me, and I think for you as well, is having a medical kit. So I have the Blue Force Gear uh, Micro Trauma Now medical kit, and then I have a uh, Gen 7 Cat tourniquet on top in the T-Rex Arms tourniquet holder. Uh, and then we roll over here to the holster. I'm going to slide the gun to the side. Uh, I have an A&R Design Tidex holster on a Savarland QLS system. So it's got the fork, it slides in and out. So if I need to change guns, all I got to do is slide it off. I can slide another another holster into that. I have it on a UBL mid-ride with a T-Rex arms leg strap. That's just how I like to run my equipment and that's what I'm running this weekend. Some people will ask me, hey, you know, I don't have all the money for this. You know, this is over a thousand dollars worth of stuff and I'm here on this bill. So what what is more realistic for an everyday or uh, more realistic? So start off with the belt, just a good leather EDC gun belt that's sturdy. This one happens to be from Core Essentials. It's got the ratcheting system. This would be perfect for a belt. For the pouches, again, a lot of pouches work, work but I still, I, I love S-Tac, so I have some S-Tac Kiwis, and I have their plastic belt loops on there, so these will slide right on this belt, just like this, and you can put them, you know, wherever you need to. They'll slide on the belt, and you can use them, just like that as you wrap it around your body. And then for the holster, you know, just a regular pancake style Kydex holster. I have this for my CTP09 here with the high knife side, so that would work. So then you can take your belt, thread it through there, you know, and there you go. You're ready to go to the pistol class. You've got your two magazines and you've got your pistol. So uh, this, like this workshop calls for having two magazines, mag pouches, and a good holster and a good belt. And basically you're set to go in about 500 rounds of ammo. But uh, so the pistol that I am taking and planning on running is my CZP09 or CZP 10C. This is a Gen 1 P10C. I've got the Streamlight TLR7 on there. I will be running the 15 round magazines. I have my P09 mags with me that do run in this gun, but if I don't need to run them, I won't. I'll just run the shorter standard P10C mags. Streamlight TLR7. Switches still suck. I hope Streamlight's working to fix that. And you know, I always think it's a good idea to bring a backup. So I have two a lot of two of a lot of things here. But and I am I have the ability to bring two guns. So if somebody else's rig go down, I can hand them. And they, especially if they have a QLS system, I can hand them this. So I will be taking my PO9 as a backup gun. This one is Urban Gray Suppressor High Night Sights with the threaded barrel, big whoop. I have it set up to single action only with safety. I also have it set up, the holster set up on the Safari Link QLS, and I'll be running it in a T Rex Arms Ragnarok holster. Awesome piece of gear here. Anyway, guys, another important thing is to, especially for you people that uh, have an office job and don't spend a lot of time outside, uh, hydration is really important and food. So, like, I'm bringing a lunch, I'm bringing plenty of water, I'm also bringing electrolytes because. Uh, water is usually not enough, especially for you guys that don't spend a lot of time outside. Uh, it's always good to replenish, especially when it's hot. Tomorrow it's not supposed to be too bad at the class, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Really, really excited to learn from an awesome instructor. Uh, I think all my gear squared away, like another thing, you know, checking screws and bolts, make sure stuff that's locked tight, it needs locked tight. Day before, I'm loading this all in the car. Class starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be leaving, I'm in the Vegas area, so I'll be leaving here around 3 a.m. Uh, getting there, running the class, and then coming back because I have other things to do. Besides that, just come prepared and come with an open mind. That's the biggest problem you see at classes. Usually, is people have done things a certain way for so long, and they're not they're not they're not um, a willing to try new things, and that unfortunately can really affect their uh, ability to retain and 
uh, have a good outcome in the class. So come with an open mind, even if he's telling you to do so, or he or she, the instructor is telling you to do something you're not really sure of at their class, just try to do it their way. And then when you come back to your home range, take what you can from their class, implement it and make yourself better. But if something else works better for you and it's like reasonable, continue to do it that way. So I'm sure uh, Mike will have his way of doing things and it'll be a little different than what I usually do or what I'm used to. I know one thing for sure, like right off the bat, uh, he doesn't run his AR-15 magazine uh, bullets back. He runs a bullets forward, but he's a, you know, body build is a lot different than me and stuff like that. And I have reasons for running a bullet in back. He's got reasons for running bullet bullets forward, but you know, so there's a lot of different crossover and ways to do things and just, you know, be, be accepting to criticism, be open about changing your ways and be just try it, try things. And if it doesn't work for you, go back to what works for you. Anyway, guys, I'm Jesse with Hunt Train. I really thank you all for coming and stopping and watching my videos. I hope you like them. I hope I'm not blabbing too much. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. We're growing little by little and it's really exciting for me to see that my content uh, reaches you guys and you appreciate it. Anyway guys, I'm Jesse with Hunt Training. Headed to a Soul Dynamics with Mike Lavoy or Knockout Lights on Instagram fame. And we're gonna do a lot of learning and a lot of shooting this weekend. I'm super excited. And I will come back for you guys in next week with an after action report and hopefully a little bit of footage from the Crystal class down there in California. Anyway guys, have a great day, make yourself better, and we will see you next time.